has only two responses, but it's a very general question. Hand it out. Strong reaction. Yes. Positive. Negative. Which ones are gram positive? Um, staph, staph sepro. Okay. L lactis. Staph aureus. Is that up there? No. Can't read it with my glasses. The Bacillus lateriosporus. Ammonia, E. coli, Bacillus lateriosporus, Mycobacterium flea. Oh, Bacillus lateriosporus. Bacillus lateriosporus is positive. And the M weird one. Mycobacterium is anatomically positive. positive. All right, we didn't break our list up into exactly halves, but it's still a very general question, and it's the one you should answer, or you should ask and answer first, because the gram stain, when you've done it right, it doesn't only tell you about the, the, anatomic, the, the, the anatomy of the cell wall, but it tells you about cell shape as well. And it tells you about arrangement, if you've taken it from a broth, but let's deal with cell shape, since we're looking at the same slide. Shape? Rod or coxie. Rod or coxie. All right, which one's a rod? Um, the seems like they're both rods. The, they're both rods. So we don't have any coxie. All right, that's not going to work for us. So, uh, uh, what did we learn about Klebsiella pneumoniae tonight? It's capsule. And we'll ask about the capsule. Capsule. Yes, no, no, we're not sure if E. coli has a capsule. Or we didn't do a capsule stain with E. coli. But let's just for now say that it doesn't have a capsule. So it doesn't? So have a I don't know if it really does in reality. Oh, okay, you don't. But let's just for now say it doesn't have a capsule. So, no, okay, pneumonia, yes, we've keyed out them to as far as we can go. Right from general to more specific. We've got a bunch of gram positives now, and we could ask the same question about shape. Coxie? Rod? Which ones are coxie? Dermatis? Triticus? And lactus. And these two are rods. What do we know about these? How can we discriminate between them? Acid fast. What Acid fast. fast. Beautiful. Question mark. Yes. No. Which one is? Amphibian. Flea. Mycobacterium flea. Flea. Bacillus lateriosporus? No. No. We could alternately ask if it makes endospores. Right? We could do that just as fine as doing acid fast. It's a, it's a gram positive rod. Does it make endospores? Yes or no, but there is that caveat. Uh, if they're happy and healthy, they're not making spores. They're capable of making spores when stressed. That's a more easy to determine. Right? The, an acid fast cell is always an acid fast cell. Doesn't matter of its state of metabolism. We keyed them out completely. Now we've got the gram positive coxie to get to. Alright, um, let's let's discriminate between these. Whether uh, the arrangement? Arrangement. Well, see, that's not a true dichotomy, because there's more than one possible answer to that question. None, strepto, staphylo. So we, gotta, we have to really ask a question that is a dichotomy. Does it have an arrangement? Right? If you always see them as singles, and you never see them arranged in any way, then we would have to say no. Um, are there any that satisfy that? That are not? Do not yeah, that you didn't see any arrangement for. That's a close one. I mean, it, they do sometimes form very, very short chains, but they even renamed this from streptococcus to lactococcus because, you know, it, it, it's a lousy streptococcus. Well, we'll consider L lactis not to have an arrangement. Put that there. Um, S. saprophyticus, you guys did a gram stain on it tonight. How's it look for arrangement? Is that, that is, um... It should have been none on mine. None? You didn't see any arrangement? Which one? Um, I think it's Staphylococcus saprophyticus. 
Anybody see any arrangement, regardless of what the genus calls it? Did you see any arrangement in the gram stain? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll say no. And strep, no, Staphylococcus epidermidis. Does it have an arrangement? Yes. yes. Streptococcus, or Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus. Sorry, does it yes. have an arrangement? Yes. yes. Got to split these up. S. saprophyticus and L. lactis. What did you see any differences between them? Long chains. We might be kind of stuck here. You know, based on morphology only. That's really what we're doing here. The study of shape or or the characters that are visible under the microscope. We, we might be stuck here. We would have to resort to doing some biochemical testing right, to find out the differences between L. lactis and S. saprophyticus. What enzymes does it have? Um, so we might not be able to go any further for this. Uh, but there is a clear difference, at, le at least in the way the colonies look, between S. epidermidis and Staph aureus. What does aureus mean? Gold. Gold. It's pigmented colony. Right? The colony looks nice and gold yellow. And S. epidermidis colonies are kind of a creamy, whitish, off-white color. So we'll ask this pigmented stuff. Pigmented colony? Oh, Staph aureus is yes. Question mark? Yes, no. Yes, it's Staph aureus. No, S. epidermidis, and we've keyed them out. Um, yeah, if you don't have anything in your notes that would differentiate between these two, we, we would we would have to reach into our bag of tricks of biochemical tests, which I haven't shown you about. What's that? Neither one of them are motile. Um, let me look in my notes for a biochemical test that would work. 